Hey y'all, Hillbilly Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning, recipes, a little bit of everything. Tex-Mex is real big here in Texas and so I'm fixing to show you one of my favorite recipes that I start cooking this time of year. We're going to make charro beans today. Stay tuned. I've got uh, some cilantro back there. I've got one onion. I got uh, three tomatoes fresh from my garden, a bell pepper fresh from my garden. And I have uh, some of my frozen hatch green chilies that I roasted just a couple of weeks ago and froze them. If you want to know how to do that, please go back and look at my video. Um, we do this every year and it helps us to add flavor to our food all year long. I've got about uh, two cups of pinto beans in here and I've got about two, oh, two and a half, three inches of water. Charo beans are meant to be like a soup and so you want to uh, keep them with lots of water and lots of liquid in there. I am frying up some bacon and getting ready uh, to chop my vegetables. Okay, I have all my vegetables uh, chopped up. I've got uh, three tomatoes from my garden. I've got probably about an eighth of a cup of cilantro. Um, cilantro can be overpowering, so for me, less is more. I have three cloves of garlic, one small bell pepper from my garden, uh, onions, one chopped onion, and I have some of my roasted hatch green chilies that I uh, roasted and froze a couple weeks ago, and I have five pieces of bacon. And this is what's going to make our charro beans. Our pinto beans have come up to a rolling bowl. I did have to reduce the heat down to medium, and I'm just going to let them boil a little bit while I saute um, much of our vegetables. I have my bacon grease here and my skillet that I'm going to use to saute my vegetables. The first thing I'm going to put in there is my bell peppers and my onions. We don't want to put the garlic in there yet because garlic does uh, burn very quickly when you're sauteing it. So that would be one of the last things we put in on our saute here. Our vegetables are sauteing nicely. We want them to absorb all that bacon flavor. Okay, I'm going to add um, our three cloves of garlic. Saute this a little bit. Okay, that sauteed about a minute or two. Now I'm going to add my tomatoes, and you may notice that my chunks are pretty big. And it's because I want them to maintain throughout the cooking, so I don't want them to break down. Now that those have cooked a little bit, I'm going to put my bacon back in here. That is looking so delicious. So I've got my bell pepper in there, I've got my onion, I've got my bacon, and my tomatoes, and three cloves of garlic. I'm going to saute this a little bit longer, and then we're going to add it to our beans. Okay, I've gotten all my things sauteed together, and now I'm going to start adding it to my beans. I did not want to put salt and pepper on it um, yet. I'll wait and salt and pepper here in a little bit. Notice my tomatoes stay all intact, and that's the way I want them because they will reduce and shrink down while they're cooking with the beans. I'm going to give it a good stir here. And we will add our green chilies and our cilantro a little bit later. We just want these to cook um, together for a bit. Okay, you can see I've got it on simmer. I'm going to continue to let it simmer a little bit longer, but I'm going to put about a teaspoonful of cumin. That's going to give it its uh, charro bean flavor as well. A little bit of Spanish Mexican spice. All the fresh flavors are really coming together in there. Um, I have not added my cilantro yet or my green chilies. Um, there's a little bit of cilantro in there because it was stuck to the tomatoes. But anyway, we're going to let it simmer a little bit longer and then we'll add our green chilies and our cilantro at the end uh, of cooking probably about uh, the last hour, hour and a half. Although charro beans are uh, Mexican food or Tex-Mex, um, they're actually good with just about anything. Uh, we're going to have steak tonight, and that's what we're going to have our charro beans with. Beans are very good for you. They're full of fiber. Uh, the fresh vegetables just add so much flavor to them. Okay, these are coming along nicely. I'm now going to add my cilantro and my green chilies. Now, we use green chilies. Other people may use jalapenos, which you can do. It depends on uh, what kind of spiciness you want. The hatch green chilies are a little bit milder than jalapenos, but uh, jalapenos are just as good. Everything is looking quite delicious. Goodness gracious, here's our charro beans, people. 
These have cooked probably about three and a half, four hours. Um, I want to tell you that I did have to add water to it. You just have to keep watching them. You can't let them boil dry. Uh, they'll thicken up too much. But um, these are done now, and uh, these are what we're going to have for dinner tonight with our steaks. Look how yummy these things are. You can see uh, the hatch green chilies in there. You can see a little bit of the tomato. You can see the bacon. These are going to be absolutely delicious. If you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel and like our video. We appreciate you watching. Take care and God bless.